Visible satellite imagery from NASA's Aqua Satellite revealed the formation of Tropical Storm Kenneth in the South Indian Ocean. Kenneth formed north of Madagascar and east of the Coromos. The satellite imagery shows deep convection, beginning to wrap symmetrically around a low-level circulation center and forming the early stages of a central dense overcast. Tropical Storm Kenneth 24S, located 195 kilometers north-northwest of Diego Suarez, is approaching the Coromos Grande Comor Island, the largest island in the nation of Coromos. Kenneth is expected to intensify significantly over the next two days and represents a serious potential threat for the Coromos, especially for Grande Comor. Powerful thunderstorms bringing heavy rains and gusty winds. These storms swell to exceed 15 kilometers of altitude. Dangerous seas will batter the island's coastal locations Tuesday night into Thursday. Mayo may dodge the worst conditions as the strengthening storm tracks north of the island, bringing 25 to 75 millimeters of rainfall and gusty winds. Kenneth is forecast to make landfall in the extreme northern Mozambique in the Cabo Delgado province on 25 April 2019. Residents along the Mozambique-Tanzania border should make preparations for a storm surge along the coast, heavy rainfall, and hurricane force winds. According to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, Tropical Storm Kenneth 24S, 10.6 south latitude and 48.8 east longitude, approximately 269 nautical miles east-northeast of Comoros Island, has tracked westward at 10 knots over the past six hours. The initial intensity of 60 knots is average from the Dvorak estimates of T3.5, 55 knots, and T4.0, 60 knots, from PGTW and KNES, respectively. Upper-level analysis indicates that Kenneth is in an area of light to moderate, 10 to 15 knot easterly vertical wind shear, mitigated by the storm motion in phase with upper level wind flow and offset by excellent radial outflow. Additionally, a long track sea surface temperatures are conductive at 30 degrees Celsius. The highly favorable environment will promote rapid intensification over the next 24 hours. Kenneth is tracking along the northern periphery of a subtropical ridge to the south and will continue on a west-southwestward track for the duration of the forecast, making landfall over northern Mozambique in 48 hours, peaking at 105 hours by 24 hours. Afterwards, increasing vertical wind shears and land interaction, especially after landfall, will cause rapid weakening and eventual dissipation over land in 72 hours. Maximum significant wave height is 16 feet. We are tracking this cyclone closely, so please subscribe and click the bell for notification of new video updates.